Pray for me. I've been dealing with um, dry throat and allergies. So I'm going to get ready to bring it out. We're at the point of no return. We are at the point of no return. And I'm going to play a short video. Oh, by the way, this channel is coming off a two week suspension. Just so you know, uh, I have two backup channels. Um, if you guys don't mind, if somebody can post my uh, backup channel, what is his name? What is his son's name? And then the other one is um, Amawan Abad 144. <clears throat> if you don't mind, please. This channel was on a uh, two week suspension. There is so much going on. I don't know where to start. I mean, seriously. First of all, Shalom, Barakatham. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Or Kakadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Citations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. We're at the point of no return. So I've been watching um, recently. I established a TikTok account. And these Edomites are planning for war. <laughs> Make no mistake about it. These gun-toting, constitution-believing, six-pack of beer red-blooded, drinking Americans. They're getting ready for war. They're tired. And they know that this is all orchestrated. So every red-blooded American, gun-toting, six-pack Joe, is preparing for war. And I've been watching several videos where these Edomites are saying, let's band together. We outnumber them, let's take them. So this thing is getting serious. And many Israelites are gonna get caught in the crossfire. Let's watch this short video. Check this out. Good morning folks. For the ones of y'all that sees this, Y'all are going to walk away shaking your heads because everything we've been telling y'all about getting ready, getting prepared, put back, uh, things are fixed to happen, we ain't got a chance. There's not a chance in what these folks are planned. The information that we've got and showing what's going on, <clears throat> way bigger than us, way bigger than us. You say you got your guns, that don't matter. You better off shoot yourself with them. Boot put back, that don't matter. What we've seen and what we know that's gonna happen, you've got one choice, one choice only. The only thing that you can get ready with is Jesus Christ. Everything else, you're not stopping it. You're not gonna slow it down. The folks that are in this and are who behind this, we're nothing. We compared to nothing. We can all unite today, and we can go against this. We'll never slow it down. That's how sad it is. But anyway, God bless y'all. Get on your knees today. Pray with your family. Get right that way. 
because all this other stuff, save up all the ammo you want to save up. Save up all the food you want to save up. If you think this is shocking to y'all, this is shocking to me too. Just the same way. But we've entered into a time that we're not going back from. And there is nothing way out of this thing other than Jesus Christ. Now you notice a few key things that he said. That there is no way out of this. And it's not going to stop. So what does that mean? We're entering into what? Birth pains. So when a woman is going through birth pains, the birth of the nation of Jacob is underway. And nothing can turn back the plagues. Nothing can turn back Bible prophecy. Ushering in the birth of a new nation. Let's go to second address. Keep in mind, he said, there is no turning back. Let's go to 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child come forth, they slack not a moment. I mean, if y'all saw the video, where in Switzerland, they were raiding the Rothschild home. That's been there since the 1800s. So people are realizing that the international bankers, the global elites, are the shadow government behind the scenes to all this drama and chaos. So they had to activate the Rothschild personal guards that sprayed down the people with high pressure water hoses. So we're here. The plagues are not going to draw back. He said there's no turning back. That's right. Second Ezra 16, verse 39. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. Jacob's trouble. So you so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos are in the crosshairs. And some of us are going to get caught in the crossfire. This is an Edomite battle. Pursuant to Isaiah 19 and 2. The Most High says, And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. So it's about to go down. Take a screenshot of this. Because I can't read it. If I read it, they'll shut me down for another two weeks. So when you get a chance, just take a screenshot or look it up. I'll give you his name. His name is Ru <coughs> Rudolf Steiner. Okay, let me get another one. So these Edomites are waking up to the fact that this thing has been planned, orchestrated. Walmart. I don't even, I'm beside myself right now. I don't even know what to say. Went into Walmart, get some dog treats. And, uh, you know, I, I, I thought we still lived in America. I thought, I thought that American currency was still worth something. Apparently it's not. This Walmart here in Port Orchard, Washington, does not take cash. They don't, they're not taking cash. I don't understand. When I asked their, their employees about it, they're like, they just roll their eyes. Like, yeah, I don't know why either. This doesn't make any sense to me. I thought we lived in America. 
American currency, uh, the almighty dollar. Hey, none of this makes sense to me. I mean, I know I've heard all the conspiracy theories that we're going to a cashless society and one world government, whatever. And I, you know, I have a hard time buying into all that, but well, you're going to die folks, when this happens. It's hard not to believe that we're going that direction. What the hell's going on? We told you. We're not listen. I won't be shopping at Walmart anymore. Well, we told you. Okay? Listen to the men of the Lord. Everybody else is an idiot. Okay? Starting with the men of the Great Millstone. We told you this man was going to go to a cashless society to usher in the digital new cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. A global reset. We told you. A lot of Americans are retarded. Okay? A lot of you are. <coughs> Let's go back to the comment board. So they're trying to usher in, you know. Let's just read the Bible. Brother Yaqua Emeth. Yaqua Emeth. Revelations 13, verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Look up the new, it's called, let me pull it up. The new Joe, uh, Joe Biden human infrastructure bill. You got to look this up. Listen, the, the hopeful elect studies. You have to be diligent and studying. Look up Joe Biden's human infrastructure bill where each family member can get $300 a month, but they got to purchase an ID, a digital ID, where they get patented. These immigrants coming in. How in the hell are we in the middle of a pandemic and they just let in 200,000 Afghan people. So people are seeing through the veil of deception. The Edomites are waking up to the BS. Listen, there is no turning back. There is no turning back from here. Let's read it again. Second Ezra 16, verse 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. So the birth of the nation of Jacob is being ushered in. Nothing great comes through an easy process. Nothing that is spectacular, the hidden treasure has to go through the fiery trial of adversity. So Edomites are starting to see the writing on the wall. Their end is near. We've been telling you this. Everything is going digital. Everything. Everything that you purchase is barcoded. They want to put the barcode juice in you. So when you take the juice, your DNA and RNA, your molecular structure becomes patented. It becomes change. You no longer qualify for human rights. You no longer qualify for Second Amendment gun rights. You no longer qualify for freedom of speech. Fifth Amendment, where you can plead the fifth <coughs> and request an attorney, a right to a fair and speedy trial. All of those things are going to vanish when your molecular RNA and DNA structure is changed. And I got to speak a little vague because this channel just coming off a two-week suspension. Second Ezra 16, verse 39. 
even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. O oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So many of us have had nightmares of living in the wilderness, being tracked down, hunted by those that hate us. The burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled around Jacob. You so-called Negroes, Native Americans and Latinos, and they're using groups like Black Lives Matter to help ignite that hatred, an ancient hatred against Jacob. So these are government funded organizations like Black Lives Matter to help ignite an old fiery spark of hatred against you Israelites from Esau Edom. So this is tyrannical at its best, classic tyranny. Let's go to 2nd Ezra chapter 9. But yeah, don't forget to look up this guy, Rudolf Steiner. This devil right here. There he is. Let's go to 2nd Ezra chapter 9. 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me, and then, 2 Nephilim 9, verse 1. He answered me, then, and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So what is he visiting with? Signs, tokens, plagues. Look what's happening in Australia. The people are rising up. What can the little 1% that's ruling over the world do against a global majority, against the 99%? They have to come up with a way to tag and mark you, track you, and link you in to a digital grid system. This man is scared. Look up the video where they raided the Rothschild home that's been there since the 1800s in Switzerland. Check out that video today. Yes, they want to link you in to the Internet of Things. Anybody not talking about this is not a prophet at all. Esau talking about he don't know what's going on. Why are they going cashless? He thought this was a free country. We told you these things were coming. Anybody that's not a prophet, just be quiet. All right? We've been telling you these things are coming. One moment. Shortness of breath, chest pains, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 9. Um, no appetite, no taste, uh, stomach pains, uh, that's about a 9, headache is about a 12. Um, uh, um, if you think that you can't catch it twice, it's the second time around for me, and it's worse. I was telling people not to get their vaccine. So, all right, started saying things that will get the video flagged. Well, what's happening is, I'll just go ahead and have to summarize it. Those that are getting, here's what's happening. Those that are getting the serpent's venom 
are dying or getting sick. Those are the ones that are suffering, but yet they're blaming those that don't have the juice as the culprit of the problem. But those that don't have the juice are not dying off like this. So now they're caught in a dilemma. They continue to push the narrative that those that are not juiced are the problem. But the, the statistics and the facts say otherwise. So that's what's happening right now. How can you blame those that are not juiced as the problem? But those that are dying are those that are going to get treatment and get the juice. <coughs> so people are waking up to the lies and the deception. It's over. It is over. Don't worry, I'll post that video about them attacking the Rothschild house. Or if somebody else find it, please post it. Second Ezra 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. So the people in Australia are uprising against the government. About every fifth video on TikTok, they're talking about rising up against the government. They who? Edomites. They're talking about taking up arms. Listen, there is no turning back. This thing is about to get real. And many Israelites are going to get caught in the crossfire. About every fifth video, Edomites are talking about rising up, sedition, insurrection, 2nd Exodus 9, verse 4. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So the prophets, everything is being called back to remembrance through the elect, starting with the apostles, prophets, and the hopeful elect, the remnant is beginning to understand these things first. Now everybody is starting to pay attention because we're seeing these things come to pass. Notice he said he don't believe in conspiracy theories, but everything is happening. you damn right. There is no more theories. There is no more conspiracies or opinions. It's happening. They're going to collapse the current monetary system and transition over to a new digital device. Look up Joe Biden's human infrastructure plan or bill where everything is going digital, starting with these immigrants. Why do you think they opened the floodgates to let all these damn immigrants over here? Why do you think that is? Order out of chaos. And now they're going to justify this new human infrastructure bill. It's called the, the human infrastructure bill. You're going to have to read that on your own. Or you can purchase a digital ID. $300 per family member is what you can qualify for, which includes these immigrants coming over here. Yep, Andre serving Yahweh Shai, Isaiah 29, verse 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us, and who knoweth us? 
Somebody said this is the link on Twitter where the Rothschild house was being attacked. So these Edomites are gearing up for war. Second Ezra 9, verse 5. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. So these effects, uproars of the people, distrust in the government, insurrections being stirred up, and seditious acts, that's rebellion against governing authorities. Or seven, what else? How many know about the earthquake in Australia? On top of the uproars of the people, who's going to repair the, the damage in the city? After you done pissed off the population to take this juice, who's going to do the repairs? The Most High sent an earthquake on top of the uproars in Australia. Stolen land. We are here. The point of no return. Second Exodus 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed the hopeful elect. Verse 8. Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they have cast them away. The spitefully shall dwell in torment for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me like that Edomite that I showed you the video of. What the hell is going on? They won't accept cash at Walmart. No shit, Sherlock. Did we not tell you that everything is going digital? To usher in the Marcus. So the Bible says, my sheep, Hear my voice. Shalom, Elder Manatazak, out of South Carolina. Shalom, Barakata. And to all the brothers and sisters, Shalom, Barakata. So, people ignore the signs, but we're here. <coughs> we are here. Brother Chazak Ban Yahawada, Isaiah 10, verse 1. Woe unto them, that's Isaiah 10, verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Prescribed, pre-written, their laws, their policies. So the dragon is speaking. He's speaking through draconian law. Isaiah 10, verse 2, Brother Chazak Ban, Yahweh, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that the widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. So the target in the crosshairs are the Israelites. That's who he's talking about. Rob the poor, the fatherless. The widows. So Jacob is a worm. We are a prey to be devoured. And the Most High is pissed off with the wicked every day. They have made Jacob a prey. Who gave up Jacob to be a prey? The Most High did, but for a season. So we're in the time that he's getting ready to visit the earth. 
He's starting to show his coming through tokens, signs, effects, uproars of the people. The Israelites waking up, prophesying, which started with the apostles, elders, particularly Great Millstone. A lot of these other groups are bugged out of their damn mind. Brother Tzadok Ban, Yahweh, Isaiah 41, verse 14. So we are a spoil, a prey. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Beautiful. So we got a Savior, Yahweh Shai. Behold. I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and thou shalt make the hills as chaff. So we're in some exciting times. The Most High is going to raise up the men of the house of David to be a walking terror unto those that hate us, those that have afflicted us and persecute us. Why you think, he says, arise. Let's get it. Somebody post that, arise, daughter of Zion, and thresh. So we're going to thresh the heathen and Gentile governments, their ruling authorities, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Brother Adam Nana, Isaiah 10, verse 3. See, he's going to visit them. And he's already showing the signs of his coming. Isaiah 10, verse 3. And what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the, and in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will ye flee for help? And where will ye leave your glory? So the Most High is getting ready to visit this place. He's showing us the signs of his coming. See, let's go back here. Second Nephthys 9, verse 2. Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Let's go back to Isaiah 10, verse 3. And what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will ye flee for help and where will ye leave your glory? So all those that were incensed against us shall be as nothing. They're going to be beat to powder. We're in an exciting time for the men of the tabernacle of David is getting ready to be raised up. What is a sign or indication of that? Prophesying the spirit of the Lord is upon the men of the house of David. How do you think we can see things that are to come? Can prophesy, which means to say before. That's a sign of power. And it's going to materialize full of the power of the Lord. So he's telling Zion to arise and thresh. Brother Andre serving Yahweh Shai, Micah 4 and 13. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thine horn iron, and I will make thy hoof brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. So he's getting his glory through his witnesses, his ambassadors that are carrying forth his word, his voice. Second Ezra's nine or six. Even so, the times of the highest 
have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So those that the Most High has preordained are being washed by this word. Even, hey listen, this has nothing to do with what we look like. Even those that look like the other nations that are coming to this wise doctrine, that are being piped, piped to the voice of the word. Though those are our brothers and sisters of the hopeful elect that look like the other beasts of the field, that look like the other nations. It doesn't matter what you look like. If you can receive this doctrine, you're being sanctified, which means washed by the word. Somebody posts uh, John 17 and 17. Yup, Brother Tzadok Bon, Yehawada, Jeremiah 15, verse 21. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. Beautiful. So he's going to redeem his people, which starts with his elect. Everything starts with his elect. You think we're going to have a wicked-ass Israelite on the chariot of the Lord, smoking a blackened mouth? Like, man, did you see that? We got hoisted up. How we get up here? What happened? What was that? And, and, and smoking on some damn endo. All right? No, it doesn't work that way. Those that are going to be saved are already hearkening, which means listening to his voice, this word. How the hell we get up here, dog, and smoking on a blackened mouth or blunt? Come on, man. That was dope. Yo, yo. No. Uh-uh. Brother Irv Wilkins, John 17 and 17. See? Sanctify them. Through thy truth, thy word is truth. See? Let's go back to this. So we're being washed by the word. Second Nephews 9, verse 8. Shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So that sanctification is being purified by this word. Yup, Brother Yahweh and Maccabees 144, Jeremiah 20, verse 12. Let's get that. <clears throat> Jeremiah 20. Wait a minute. Okay, let's go to verse 11. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. Somebody post that in Isaiah 54. I think it's 17. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Who is the sword of the Lord on the left-hand side? Hopefully I don't need to pull up my mugshot. The world's, <laughs> the international world's most wanted. So they're not going to be able to prevail against the tabernacle of David. This is our safe haven. Jeremiah 20 and 11, again. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble, and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. 
Let's get this on Isaiah 54, verse 17. Brother Andre serving you how shy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment shall thou condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. What weapon shall not prosper? Sleazy, evil, e. Same brother, Andre serving you how shy. Psalm 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. You're not going to prevail, sleazy, evil, e. You're going to be dismayed. The tabernacle of David is being raised up. And we're going to be as Yahweh Shai. That's who we should strive to be like. Not like that bald head, skinhead sellout that owned prisons with his own brothers and sisters in it. Michael Jordan with his tongue out, looking crazy. We ought to be like Yahweh Shai. If I can be like the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Not like that bald head devil, Michael Jordan. See? Let's go to matter of fact. Let's keep reading. Nobody post that in Zechariah 12. We're going to be as God, as Yahweh Shai. Jeremiah 20, verse 12. But, O Lord of hosts, that trieth the righteous, and seest the reins and the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I opened my cause. Mm. Sing unto the Lord, praise ye the Lord. For he hath delivered the soul of the poor from the hand of evildoers. The soul of the poor, the downtrodden, the afflicted, the afflicted. Fear not, thou servant Jacob, and ye men of Israel. We are like a worm, easy prey being devoured by the fowls or the beasts of the field, the other nations. Where is that at in uh, Zechariah 12? So the Most High is going to do a marvelous work on this earth. Brother Adam Nana, Zechariah 12, verse 8. And that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as the Most High, as the angel of the Lord before them, as Yahweh Shai, the angel of the Lord before us. Yasharala, he is a prince of the power. Israel is Yasharala. I get an arousal thinking about vengeance on these devils. If you don't get an arousal about, <laughs> about this word, go back to tap dancing and playing the tambourine like a monkey in these Christian churches. If you don't get an arousal about this truth, go back to tap dancing for the devil. Yup. Somebody post that, how can one chase a thousand, except the Lord had been with us. Brother Chazak Bon Yehowda, John 10 and 34. Yehowah Shai answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods. If he called them gods, unto whom the word of the Most High came, and the scripture cannot be broken, Exactly. So those are the princes of the power, the men of Israel. We're not going to have our women telling us what to do anymore. Eve and the serpent and the devil orchestrating unrighteous decrees, speaking like a dragon and oppressing us. No nation is going to be able to take us down anymore. The Most High is going to raise up his minions, his battle axe, an extension of his right arm and right hand, the men of the Lord. 
So a great terror from the right hand is getting raised up, starting with what? Words of Bible prophecy. Matter of fact, here it is. Brother Yaquab, Yahweh, Yasharala, Leviticus 26, verse 8. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemy shall fall before you by the sword. Beautiful. That's beautiful. That's where I get excited. I'm tired of these devils. Brother Yeramia Gabar. Psalms 110 verse 1. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. <coughs> what is a footstool? They're going to be placed under our feet. All these nations are going to be placed or subdued under our feet, under the house of David. They're going to serve and bow down before us. Those that have called us by words and proverbs, black, negro, you see? So they're going to become our servants. Where is that at? Again, this common board is on fire. Brother Yaquab, Yahawra, Yasharala, Leviticus 26, verse 8. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemy shall fall before you by the sword. So we don't stand a chance without the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, starting with this wisdom. Brother Zakar to Zayawan, Shalawan Ak Arakata, Deuteronomy 30, Deuteronomy 32, verse 30. How shall one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight, except their rock had sold them and the Lord had shut them up? So once this power come on us, the Bible says, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. I think somebody posted that right here. Brother Yeramya Gabar. Psalms 110 verse 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and in the beauties of thy holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. So Jacob is being birthed. <coughs> the birth of a new nation. Matter of fact, let's go to um let's go back to 2nd Ezra 16. So we're being birthed, reborn, transformed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. We're gonna be changed, and we're gonna be like Yahweh Shai. 2nd Ezra 16, verse 38 again. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Notice come past her. So we're going to be surrounded by the multitude of great wrath is going to be kindled amongst us around us those that fear the Lord let's go to 2nd Ezra 16 see 2nd Ezra 16 verse 70 there is no return the point of no return the birth pains are here the contractions are here 2nd Ezra 16 verse 70 for there shall be in every place and in the next cities, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. See, birth pains are going to come past the birth of a nation of Jacob. Tribulation, Jacob's trouble, 
Tribulation. Verse 71. Let's read 70 again. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Who fear the Lord? The elect. Not some wicked ass Israelite up there smoking a the blunt talking about how did we get up here in these chariots. Verse 71. They shall be like mad men, sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Here, O ye mine beloved. Let's go back to verse 73. Well, this is talking about the great tribulation that's going to come upon all the earth. But Jacob is in the crosshairs in the sight of those that hate us starting with the international bankers. Second chapter 16, verse 72. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand but I will deliver you from the same. Well, the Most High is going to lift up a standard. They're going to come with what? Maxine Waters and the Marcus Aurelius. The Marcus. The burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled around us. Where is that at? I missed it. Second chapter 16 and 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. That burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled amongst us. See? That great pains come passing her womb. The birth of the nation of Jacob Somebody post Jacob or Israel is my firstborn. I think it's Exodus 4 and 22. Perhaps. Second chapter 16, verse 38. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. So well, these Edomites are preparing for civil war. Every fifth TikTok video, they're saying, get your guns ready. Let's build our cohesiveness. Let's build our teams. So who's being born? Brother Andre serving in Hawashai. Exodus 4 and 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. So the captive daughter of Zion is bringing forth the birth of a nation. Jacob, a holy, righteous kingdom, is being built. The pillars of wisdom has been established on the Yahawashai. Followed by who? The apostles. Followed by who? The prophets. Teachers. The tabernacle of David is being built on the pillars and the foundations of principles and truth. Wisdom. Why you think they're scared? These high-level international cave beasts, excuse me, cave makers, are scared. They're scared. Look up the video where they raided the Rothschild home in Switzerland. They raided the home. Yup. Brother GMS Amuff, your eyes from your howder. Sirach 36, verse 12. O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. Woo! So the birth of the nation of Jacob is being ushered forth. And the Most High is getting ready to reinstate us. He's getting ready to reinstate us back into the contract. The contract that he made 
with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now the tabernacle of David is getting ready to be raised up as in the days of old. Beautiful. What birth pains? Pillars of Benjamin, Isaiah 44, verse 22. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Yeshuan, whom I have chosen. That Yeshuan is a poetic name for Israel, the seed of Israel. So he's raising us up. And these high-level sorcerers and warlocks, the Chaldeans, the international bankers, they know. They know what time it is. That's why this article, where's that devil at? He's saying we got to cut off their spiritual ability. We got to shut that down so that they cannot connect spiritually. So we got to trap them in this flesh. That's what he's saying in a nutshell. What is his name? Rudolf Steiner, 1861 to 1925. Eliminate the soul. Look this devil up. How to eliminate the soul and cut off the spiritual antennas to reconnect to the most high. But they can't stop it. Okay? The spirit of the Lord is going to come upon the men of the house of David. And these big nosed devils are going to be dismayed. Okay? Brother Chazak Ban Yahawra, Sirach 17, verse 17. For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion, whom being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline and given him the light of his love, doth not forsake him. What is the light of his love? The light bulb is shining on this truth, okay? The anointed oil that fuels our lamp of understanding. So we have the oil or the anointing to understand, which is causing our light to burn bright. We still use this term or phrase today. He is bright, very bright wisdom. So that's showing his love giving us the understanding, the anointed oil, and keeping our, our lights or our lamps lit. I have no more voice left. I'm going to get ready to close out. <clears throat> so we got hope. The Most High is showing us that he has not forsaken us. How do we know that? He raised up apostles. He raised up prophets. If not, we would be in the dark and not know who was killing us. We wouldn't know who was killing us. We would not know who the devil was. We would not know who the wicked is. We would be in gross darkness. But now we stand a chance. One more video on what's going on in Australia. advertising them on social media they're building these camps even though there's like no covid in australia look at these numbers all righty roo so anastasia pistachio is making a 1000 bed concentration camp oh sorry i mean quarantine camp because she reckons all of the quarantine hotel facilities are full hmm. so this is going on in australia can't play the whole video. So if things are getting heated up, Australia is rising up. And they're basically telling their government to go to hell and drop dead. And they're raising up. Now when this comes to America, and it will, America is armed to the teeth. That's how you know the teeth means military or weapons. We still use that term today. Armed to the teeth. So there is no turning back. We have reached the point of no return. 
And these Edomites are preparing for war. And a lot of Israelites are going to get caught in the crossfire. So we have reached the point of no return. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem Kakadash. Double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. We got next, Lord willing, Barack Obama, the tabernacle of David is being raised up. We got next, Lord willing, Kwame Yasharawa and Abayad Babao, Barack Obama, Shalawan, 